Hi Virgo. This is your weekly three cards terror readings by M for the week starting 16th of March 2020. Okay, so no more introductions. Eh? Let's draw it. Main energy, cause and effect. It's the main one. Ace of Swords, cause energy. Five of Wands, an effect. The Tower, interesting this week. Your influencing energy this week is Six of Cups. Six of Cups, I think I saw with Leo in the same place. Six of Cups. It's not... We don't have depth in these Six of Cups. This energy is rather shallow. You know, that kind of... Just a situation that is pleasant. You know, somebody bring you a bouquet. Or uh, um, is just exchange pleasant words. Yeah, Yo, how you been? Uh, we must see again each other. Uh, you know, that kind of situation. Thinking about people from your past in a, in a pleasant way. With a bit maybe nostalgic. Um, maybe meeting somebody that you knew from a from long time ago. Talking to your siblings as well. That you haven't seen for some time. And then you're talking and you're reminiscing on, the, on the, um, some situation from earlier. Things like that, Six of Cups. But it's pleasant energy. It doesn't have much depth in it, though. Okay, well, uh, I pair this Ace of Swords as your main energy. We will pair it now with, pair, with Wheel of Fortune. Five of Wands. I'm going to pair now with Two of Wands. Now, the tower in here, I'm pairing with, okay, six of wands. Nice. Ten of cups, together with the six of cups. This is completion, but you're completing something in a way that you, you are you're satisfied with that. Satisfied with that. You said, yeah, I couldn't do better. Maybe somebody else, I couldn't do better. I'm happy with what I achieved in here. It's all right situation is quite pleasant and it's fine you are very happy that everything was kind of finished in a harmonious pleasant way and from there from there now i see cause energy that is influencing energy but cause energy for this week for this ace of swords and wheel of fortune is your something chaotic that came after it you know, kind of completion in a pleasant way. Everything pleasant, as I said. All good, all fine. Nothing wavy there. You are about to start something new. You've got on your mind and you're beginning kind of... You, you, you've got this general idea where you would like to go. One foot this guy has already through this door. But you didn't go completely through. You know, when you have an idea about... oh. I uh, will send an application overseas uh, and see what is going to happen. Are you waiting for it? You are not even certain yet. Even if they accept you, will you really go? Because you, you do have something uh, already in a place that you completed in a satisfactory way. You do have something in there, there where you are. So you are with one feet, one foot here, another one down there. You're not sure which way to go. Rather confusing moment there for you. That is cause energy of this week. That kind of a bit of a confusion. Um, this idea of something else that you would like change. This one says, I want change, but not sure. Will it be good for me? Will it not? Will it be good for me? Will it be better that I than that what I have right now? That is the dilemma for two of wands. That is his dilemma. If I go for something new, will it be better than this what I have? Because this one does have something good going on for him. Very much, as I said, very much confusing situation. That kind of energy is kind of unstable, confusing, indecisive. 
which way brought you into this week and this week tells me this is potential that come this idea or decision from another maybe maybe this isn't yours that comes from another but something that is true some information uh, this is as i said true potential with ace of swords that is real true potential which came with all logics with all worked out comes this week ace of swords and it definitely changes your mind makes decision whatever that is if it's decision for some of you maybe to stay the place you are for some of you it will be to move forward with something else into another stage this is another stage another cycle of life and it is within you it is within you and it is uh, uh, this ace of swords it's this this uh, um this potential that you see, it's, it's just potential that you see there. That is made you feel like, oh, I have to turn the page. I have to turn the page. I have to do something here. Because there is this idea that seems so doable. <laughs> You're right with it. Look at this uh, a position from two of, of in this size, if two of wands not knowing what to do this is confusion around you complete confusion now this week this week change of cycle this idea will change of cycle new idea is born that seems so truth for you is born brings you into this winning situation this position is it promotion or you just feel like that that you are promoted, you moved into the higher level in your life, into something else, from this indecisiveness to winning. I'm winning. I know exactly which way I'm going. The tower on top, it, it really tells me that whatever was not certain there, whatever you did cover with just this shallow en energy of being, everything is fine, it's pleasant, it's cool, it's good, that what wasn't really solid it's breaking down but it doesn't affect you in fact you really feel good now you solidify this this five of wands it's very unpleasant energy this isn't real real uh, uh, like a fight or something this is um, like not knowing what to do with yourself you know when it everything is crosses each other if you're dealing with people they they you don't understand their reaction if you ask them to do your favor they said oh i'll do and then nothing's done if uh, you don't ask them to do anything for you they pushing themselves they want to do something for you you see everything is contradictory they from this energy look at where you are effect of this week six of wands so don't be afraid of this tower it comes like a blessings in here because these swords it seems it bringing something very very new these energies are very stale this is over this is completion beautiful completion and you see uh, you it is actually serves as a seeds for something else perhaps for these two of, of, of uh, these two of rods was as i said you've got something good behind you you're sitting on something good but it's over nothing much there for you you're looking for something else not not sure if you go for that else will it be better or worse than this what you have now this week is turning the page you will understand what is what is what is to go what need to go what needs to stay that's your understanding this week and you're very very clear about that what is there for you what is not what needs to go and that what needs to go actually it's going to be dominant like uh, it's not what needs to stay what what needs to disappear what is wrong what is stumbling you what is too big for you or too uh, uh, shaky or you don't just want it you will understand that and it will go with your full understanding 
with your full understanding. Nothing there that's going to... The Tao said, oh, it's sudden. Yes, it's sudden, but it, you are not shaken in here. You are welcoming it. You are welcoming this, this uh, um, um, moment of, of enlightenment. Even if it comes in a bit unpleasant way, you see you've got all pleasant moments, but it's shallow. You don't want it anymore. You want something real. And it's coming your way. Wheel of fortune comes within you. You are turning like a new phase of yourself. You understand yourself from indecisive person to a winning person. You can do it. You can win. You can move forward. You can be visible. You can either. You understand that. You understand wheel of fortune this week is within you. You changing yourself. You yourself moving into the new phase of your life. Very clear, very clear. Nothing that it can interrupt you, not even this tower. You will welcome it. Very, very interesting, Virgo. Enjoy it. <laughs>